Hi everyone, welcome back to Bochina Macrame. In this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how I put together a macrame baby play gym. So this is a project I've been wanting to make for quite some time now. I first saw these wooden play gyms on Pinterest and decided I could make one but also incorporate macrame into it. So the macrame portion of it is in the form of the macrame baby teether toys that's hung up in the center of the baby play gym. The DIY tutorial for those macrame baby teether toys are in a separate tutorial. So if you guys want to make the baby teether toys and incorporate that into the baby play gym just like I did, then you can head on over to the link up here or I will also post it in the video description below. So in this DIY tutorial, I will be showing you guys how I put together a wooden baby play gym. By no means am I an expert at woodworking, but I did get some help from my father-in-law and husband to get the wooden parts needed for the baby play gym. My father-in-law does woodworking as a hobby, so he has all the tools needed to make the baby play gym. And if you guys are interested in knowing what tools we used, I'll explain that later in this tutorial. This baby play gym definitely makes a great gift to expecting parents and those who already have little ones. And it's also fairly inexpensive to make since we only spent under $20 to get all the materials required for the baby play gym which is great since I've seen these play gyms retail for $80 to $150. I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. I always find it fun and interesting when you combine two different crafts like woodworking and macrame together since doing that you can make even more projects. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel at Bochi Not Macrame. And with that, let's get started! So before we dive into starting the baby play gym and putting that together, a part of it is making these macrame baby teether toys. These toys will hang on the dowel of the baby play gym and it will hang down vertically so that the baby can play with them while laying underneath the baby play gym. These can also be taken out and used as baby teether toys on its own for baby to play with. So once you have all these baby play gym toys ready, along with the materials needed for the baby play gym itself, then we are ready to put them all together. The materials you will need to make the wooden play gym are as follows. I purchased all of these materials from our local home hardware store, Home Depot, and they helped cut the wooden planks into our desired length and size. All you have to do is head on to your local home hardware store, tell them the size of the legs and the dowel that you need, and they should be able to help you out. As you can see here, I have my four wooden legs on the right side, and these have already been finished and made with the holes drilled, and I'll walk you through the process of how we got here. The wooden planks have a thickness on the skinnier side of 0.75 inches and on the thicker side, it is 1.5 inches. Like I said, when you head on over to your local home hardware store, just tell them the dimensions that you need for these wooden legs, as well as the wooden dowel, and they should be able to cut the planks into your desired shape and size. Once you have the wooden legs, the very first step is to cut one end of each of the legs to a 20 degree angle. You can measure using a protractor or the approximate space on that longer side of the angle is 0.6 inches. So if you want to measure from the corner of one end to the 0.6 inch length on the other end, then that should give you the approximate angle you will need for your legs. So say I'm measuring it on the other side where there is the straight end, so this is what the plank would have looked like originally on the other end. I measure 0.6 inches on that one end, and then on the other end, I'm going to measure diagonally from the corner. Once you have drawn out the angle onto all four legs, you're now ready to saw off those end pieces. If you have a handheld saw or an electric saw, those should work in cutting off those end pieces. 
And these are what the wooden legs should look like once the ends are cut off to the 20 degree angle. So once the angle is cut off, we're now ready to go on to step two and that's drilling two holes on each of the legs. You will need a drill for this part of the process to be able to drill two holes through each of the legs. For the hole at the top of the leg, it is measured at approximately 4.5 inches from the top. As for the bottom hole, this is measured at approximately 10 inches from the bottom of the leg. And you'll need to drill both of these holes on all four of the wooden legs. Once all the wooden legs are drilled, it is time to sand the wooden legs down. An electric sander is the best to be used for this part of the process. We did sand down the sharp edges of the wood. As you can see, there are curved edges instead of very sharp ones. And this was to make sure that the legs are safe for baby. Once all the legs are sanded down and wiped clean, we are now going to paint the ends of each of the legs with non-toxic acrylic paint to give it a nice contrasting design. The part at which you paint the ends of the legs is totally up to you. All you have to do is take some sticky tape and mark off 8.5 inches from the bottom of the leg all around and then we can start painting the bottom of the leg. This is the paint that I use for my baby play gym. It is a white colored non-toxic acrylic paint which makes it safe for baby to play around with. And then all I did was I used a paintbrush to paint the bottom of the legs. And this is the end result of the leg once it has been painted and dried. And this concludes what you need to do to get the legs ready for the baby play gym. As for the wooden dowel, you don't really have to do much with this prior to putting it together with the wooden legs. We did, however, drill a small hole on the center of the dowel on each end to make it easier to put the screws in later. So once you have your wooden dowel, your wooden legs, and your baby teether toys ready, we can put the play gym together. To do so, you will need two long screws at 2.5 inches long, as well as two washers. So one screw and one washer on each end of the play gym. As you can see here, I've placed two legs together already with opposite angles at the end of the legs and this is because when you open the legs they're going to sit flat on the ground. So we're going to do the same thing with the other two legs. We're going to place opposite ends on top of each other and then take the screw and washer and twist them in at the top. You do want to make sure that the angle of the inner legs are the same as well as the outer legs. And that is because the play gym will look even once it is stood up. So taking the screw and washer, screw them into the top holes of both legs. Once you have the legs ready for the sides, we're now going to place the baby teether toys onto the dowel and then we're going to attach the dowel onto these wooden legs. Using a handheld drill or an electric drill will work for securing the screw onto the dowel.
Lastly, once the play gym has been built, we're going to separate the legs if it's not separated already and adjust the height of the play gym accordingly to where you want it to go. And then we're going to take a strand of cord at about 20 inches long and you can use any type of cord for this, a three ply single strand, cotton cord, or you can use drew cord as well. To get the height to match exactly on both sides, you can measure the width at the bottom of the play gym and match that width on the other side. To hold the height of the play gym, we're going to weave the cord through the bottom holes. And to do this, I'm going to use a fishing wire and I'm going to loop it around one end of the cord and I'm going to weave the fishing wire through the hole first to weave the cord through. This is also a great tip for those of you looking to weave beads through for macrame or for any type of weaving that requires you to string through a thicker strand of cord or a bead. So right now the outside of the wooden legs are facing us. And what we're going to do is make double overhand knots with the cord on the outside of the wooden legs. So string through the other end of the cord through the other hole Now expand the legs to your desired height and then we can make double overhand knots on both ends. Repeat the same steps with the other two legs on the other side and you are now complete with the macrame baby play gym. And that concludes our baby play gym tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these kind of projects with woodworking and macrame, we do have a few other ones such as a macrame swing. We also have a macrame baby swing tutorial that is available on Patreon, which is our exclusive macrame community where you can learn more intermediate and advanced macrame patterns. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the link in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.